Hey, oh people, my name is Rage, and welcome and all to Hearthstone Hijinx, the show where we play a deck with rules or conditions or a win condition or another condition or conditioner, and our hair looks fabulous and shiny. Probably Valera uses a pretty good conditioner. Either way, this is the Burgle Challenge today. Basically, I got a win with uh, the cards that I get from Burgle. So firstly, here's hoping that my Burgle cards are good, and secondly, here's hoping I can live long enough to draw them and then use them. Rogue kind of got shafted in the Grand Tournament just a little bit, which is weird, because they should be really good because they're great at thrashing Paladin. However, in practice, what ends up happening is uh, you just die. <laughs> Like, you just straight up die. Buccaneer is just a fantastic one drop. A turn one Buccaneer into turn two weapon is just lovely. Like, it's really strong. It's weird with Rogue, because they have a lot of individually powerful cards, yet they don't see that much play. And I've been on a mission to make a sort of slower, controly Rogue work, especially with Burgle. And I just... I just can't do it. It's just so difficult. So, in the meantime, to relieve my frustration, we're gonna get our burgling antics on, because I think it's only right that we do here. And voila! Uh, Dark Eye and Skulker, and yeah, Dark Eye and Skulker also, in theory, should be absolutely brilliant in the current meta because of all the paladins spamming their 1-1s. This guy just arrives and just kicks all their asses. Like, it should be brilliant, but in practice, again, it's not. It's just... What up with you, Valera? What up with you? Valeria, 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 Valeria... I actually have no idea. Which weirds me out a little bit. Come on, Burgle, what should be the last few cards in my deck? I just know it's gonna be. Oh, Silver Hand Regent, here it is. The tokens, 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 so many tokens. Uh, as weird as it is, I think it's actually correct to just drop the SI7 here, because this way the Zombie Chow can't kill it, and also I can trade for the Silver Hand Regent next time. So I think this, I think this works out. I'm happy with this. I'm happy with it so far. A lot of rogue cardage, in fact. Not a lot of neutrals going on. There's the many one ones. And see, it's exactly this kind of situation where Dark Eye and Skulker is supposed to just be brilliant. Like, really, really brilliant. Okay, so I guess we'll get rid of the zombie chow. And get rid of that. As much as I want to let him just do loads of one ones for the sake of uh, the impactful Dark Eye and Skulker. It's not really worth it that much. I mean, I was tempted to just prep sprint that turn, but I'd rather do it next turn and have the one mana left for something like a deadly poison for the next Silver Hand uh, Regent and the like under City Valiant. He's so cool, isn't he? He's just on his horse with his bone spear. The horse looks really sad, though. The horse is just like... Why do I have to be a horse? I'm dead. <laughs> Let me rest. I just... It just it sucks, man. It sucks being a skeleton horse. It it really does. It just... It really... I really hate being a skeleton horse. It's just the worst thing. Alright, good. He used his entire turn to pay a 4 mana card to just kill one of mine. Let us sprint, 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 and see if we can't get Burgle. Come on! And unfortunately, we don't. But we will preemptively deadly poison, just to curve out a little bit better. I'm tempted to put a second sprint in, but... I actually feel like that's just way too fast. Like, really way too fast. Fan of Knives, again, it's just the 1-1 one, one shredder. But it somehow messes up. This kind of obviously sucks, because it's this kind of situation where you're like, Ah, come on, my other prep. That would be so delicious to get the other preparation here. It really... Oh! My God. That is absolutely... Wonderful. I cannot tell you how wonderful <laughs> that feels right there. That was just a brilliant. And let's not out of context that situation. Heart of the cards, they guided me. They arrived. They came to me as if in a dream. And we fan of knives the hell out of his tokens. Because fan of knives is just a cancel out muster for battle and draw a card. Which is great, because we're about to get muster for battled here. 
Oh, no, we're not. We're, in fact, shielding a minibot. God, I don't, don't you just hate it when you have to shield someone's minibot? It's just the worst thing. I am so fortuitous it didn't kill this, because what this lets me do is... Uh, well, I technically should take the two damage here. Actually, no. No, I'm going to let my Skulker take it. I think that makes a, a lot more sense. Well, no, I'm still going to have to do it either way. So, really, all I'm saying is complete and utter tripe. <laughs> At least next turn we can burgle and see if we actually will get cards that we can win the game with. Come on, Burgle. You can do it. Look at him. He is he has robbed a, a tiny sack of goods, and he's just, like, looking at the uh, bird like, Oh, you! And he's just having fun. He's just having fun. All right, Burgle, come on! Well, that is definitely a card we can win the game with. That's for sure. Do I want to sap this? That's the question. I feel like I don't want to sap it. You know what I actually feel like I want to do? Well, uh, it's it's an interesting conundrum here. A very interesting conundrum. It really is. I could, in theory, True Silver, make it go to seven attack and uh, smack him about the face. That would actually be pretty good. Let's get rid of Dr. Boom, because I think sapping it would suck. And then I'm actually just going to play the Shadow Pan. Because it should sponge both boom bots. At least I hope it does. Alright, so our first Burgle has definitely worked out in our favor. True Silver is glorious. It really is. Hopefully he doesn't just immediately play it himself. Alright, so well, Sylvanas is definitely getting sapped. So, yeah, all in all, this is actually a pretty good turn for us. We can sap Sylvanas and play Dr. Boom. And if he's just going to hit us in the face, I'm kind of okay with that. Ooh, we do have Eviscerate. So that's seven damage. I mean, we're doing this. So seven damage, another four there. That kind of works out. We'll do this, and then we'll play our own Dr. Boom. Hopefully then, next turn, we can make it work. I'm excited. He needs seven damage, which is actually not that likely, unless the Boom bots absolutely decide that I just, I need to die. Well, bye, Dr. Boom. You tried. You did try. Nobody can take that away from you, my friend. Nobody can take that away. Okay, so assuming we just have the 6 damage, that puts him to 14. Eviscerate puts him to 10. And then we've got a 7 from the true silver. Not quite no enough. Sylvanas comes back down, but we have another sap, so that's fine. Alright, so basically, these boom bots really need to do some work. We are going to... Ooh... That's kind of tempting. So we're going to sap this away. We're going to play True Silver. We're going to give it Deadly Poison. We're going to attack face for the two heal because I just know... Oh yeah, it's not seven, it's six. I can do basic maths, me. And then we are going to... Oh, do I want to do the Boombot Roulette? I kind of need to. Oh, both lived. Oh wow, it just literally went there. That's actually really fantastic for me. And... Yeah, well, well, do we want to do it again? I don't want to get smacked for loads of damage. Uh, we'll go for it. And that. Oh, no, I can't do it. I can't eviscerate for the victory because I did it in the opposite order. Oh, no. Oh, no, please. Please don't let this happen. Oh, this sucks. I got to end my turn. I could win. I have lethal but I need to win with one of the Paladin's own cards for the hijink, so I'm going to have to hope upon hope that I can kill him with this True Silver next turn. Oh, God. Oh, that's that's four. That's four. That sucks. Oh, God. Oh, God. And then... Oh, no! A slight change in the order I do things would have done it away oh, why didn't i plan for ridiculous broken boombot rng why didn't i plan for that what a game what a game honestly i kind of want to take that as a half victory because it very nearly happened so hopefully we can make it work in this next game oh that sucks that sucks so much i'm just so upset i really am make him deal with his own card and if you'll excuse me for but a moment
as I do a thing in the distance. It's okay. I've achieved the thing that I wanted to achieve. You'll never know what it was, but know that I do a lot in the name of professionalism. Okay, everybody, sorry about that job cut, but basically real life assaulted me. And I feel just generally, just, just very upset. Just beat up, just, just asleep in a corner. I guess, to be fair, a corner is a good place to sleep, because you got two solid walls either side of you. You got somewhere to put your back, because, you know, you can lean up against the corner. And that's probably easier than the middle of the room. But still, don't just fall asleep randomly in rooms. But yeah, I got phone calls, I got people coming to see me, I got the doorbell ringing during the entirety of the second game. And I was just like, you know what, you know what, it's just, no. I'm done, I'm done, you can get lost, that's it, we gone now. I'm actually going to keep all of this against a shaman, especially as I've got to turn, turn, turn one buccaneer. Because then I can turn two backstab weapon up and kill a totem golem, which is uh, pretty much required. I am very happy to have... Oh, there it is as well. I'm very happy to have Khuzan, the uh, burglar, here. He's going to get burgled really hard, and then I'm going to, you know, well, kill him with what I've stolen. So I hope I steal, like, lava bursts, and, you know, I've stolen pure fire from him. And then I'm going to be like, ha ha, throw it at you. And Mr. Merry Burglar, oh, you bird over here is going to have a good time. He's going to have a very, very good time. Greetings. The pleasure is mine. As long as you know. No. Buccaneer. He tried. He tried to be a good Buccaneer, but was ultimately defeated. We'll play just a free two. At this point, it's not great, but at least it does stuff, and uh, that's what we really need to have going for us. Can I get the arrows through each other? That's the question. Because technically speaking, where, did I just did I just arrow in the dummy? Nice. All right. Boom. No, I want the arrows in the middle of the board. It's just so sad. Just really. Okay. Alright, that's interesting. Technically speaking, if I kill him with a Wind Fury minion, that satisfies the challenge if the second attack is what kills him. So I got that guy. Is it freaking Shaman Murloc all up in here? Because I think it is. I think it is. That is awesome. Alright, there we go. Pop and... Uh, there goes the Murlocs. He's had a very slow start for a Murloc deck, he really has. But then again, my hand is also terrible, so I've just got to be very fortunate that this has happened. Do I have anything worth reading? He's hexing a 3-3? He is desperate to get this Murloc train rolling. He is... No, he's actually just toming. What am I facing? What am I facing? There's just so many unanswered questions. There really is just a lot of unanswered questions here, but it's all right because we've got our second pirate friend with a with a barrel for a foot. It's just you know life's good when your foot is literally a bad. Then lightning star. All right, w what, Hosen? Just just what are you doing? I don't understand. It doesn't it doesn't make any sense, my friend. I'm gonna skulk your totem because at this point. It just doesn't even matter. Nothing really matters to me. And boom. There is a way to make the arrows go through each other, but I just... I just don't know. I mean, you can't get them all in the bullseye, surely? I mean, maybe you can. I just... Oh, can we just keep going? Well, eventually... Well, eventually it just keep getting better and better. I don't actually know how that works. Either way... Let's get rid of that. Re-weapon up, hit him in the face for four. I just hope we get to a point where this Wind Fury can bring us glorious victory. We got two in the bullseye. We got two. Maybe our arch is getting a little bit more accurate. Not as good that way around. One. Oh, that sucks. Neptulon! There he is. There he is. Good old Neptulon, friend. That poor target dummy is really getting peppered, though. That's got to suck. Ooh, eviscerate. And a one. And a two. And a three. And ow, my face! And then a four. 
That, yeah, that technically works. I mean, I need to keep a minion on the board because I have no others to play. If I'd drawn another minion, I'd definitely... Oh, oh, three! Three in the center. I'm getting kind of happy. Oh, we're getting there. I feel like there's progression happening. I don't know. I don't know if this is really the focus of what's going on here. But our opponent is playing very slowly, so we'll see. Ah, there's a shadow pan. Good. And sprint, in fact. Fantastic. We can get to our other burgle and hopefully get ourselves something better when it comes to killing all of them. All right. So this is an easy blade flurry for me. Although we do have a backstab. Nah, it's still easier just to blade flurry it because that way I get to sprint up to nine cards and hopefully draw my second burgle. Damn, no second burgle. Sad days, sad days. Two in the center, three in the center. Ah, oh, I thought it was happening. I thought it was happening, but no, I was lied to. One, two. Oh, I'm just, I'm just, I'm so, I'm so engrossed in this target over here. <laughs> oh, what is life? What is life? Ooh, cold light seer. Okay, well this is gonna rec- Oh, we do get the second burgle, so that's absolutely fantastic. So, I think what we want to do is definitely skulk everything down. Then... That was cool. That was a good skulk. Good bit of skulking there. And then we definitely want to... Fan of Knives. Let's do this. We do get another Fan of Knives, which is actually really perfect here. But I'd rather Burgle so he thinks he has a chance so he doesn't leave. Oh, the Dust Devil! The Dust Devil! I repeat, it is a Dust Devil! Let's weapon up. We will kill that one. He will kill that one. And we are good. We are very good. That lightning storm is glorious. But this is actually it. 4, 8, 12. Ooh, and no deadly poison. Yes, next turn I can kill him with his own wind fury. This is the slowest Murloc game you've ever seen. But we have the power. We do have the power one. Ah, Yeah, I don't think it is just a progression. I think just there's a chance to get, luckily, all of them in the center. Which does suck. Oh. Aww. Oh, all but one. All but one. Ah, maybe it's the speed. Oh. Oh. Oh, so close. So bloody close. One. To, uh, I give up. I give up. Actually, it's not for me. Clear the board. Clear the board. We're done now. We're done now. All right. What am I doing with my life? Oh, yes. Killing him. Nice. And uh, we're going to deadly poison. Hit him in the face. Then we are going to... Yeah, we're actually just going to kill him with his own cards. I think that makes sense. And then here we go. Wind Fury. Boom. The second attack. Boom. Boom! The Burgled Challenge! Bloody Burgled! Bloody Burgled. The tournament should start soon, guys, if you didn't see the announcement to video the other day where I played my first ever deck. But yep, there you have it. The Burgle Challenge. Burglarated. I don't actually think we could have killed him in any other way that turn as well, so it really is a good bit of burgle challenging. Let me know what suggestions for future challenges, hijinks, deck shenanigans. It shall be done. And like you've enjoyed this, subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. My name's been Rage. A oh, good boy. You've been